Have you ever wondered if you should make finding love a priority? Should you pencil it in your list of priority goals or should you just leave it to chance? If you were to ask me, I say, make it your priority. In today's video, let's take a look at the reasons why, if you're someone who never had a boyfriend and drawer in your 20s, it's about time you make finding love your top priority. Finding love is like buying a house. You have to look for it. Buying a condo or a house, an apartment, means you have to seriously look for the one that you want to buy. It doesn't just happen. It will not just come to you. You have to look for it. You have to prioritize it even if you are busy at work. It takes some kind of serious doing. If you want to find love, you have to make it your priority too. But this is not what we were told. We grew up being told from fairy tales, movies, and entertainments, and the people around us that we don't need to search for love. If it's meant to be, it will just happen. We were told that finding love is only for desperate people. Many women believe that love is something you only get if you are fortunate. Love has become like a lottery. Only the lucky ones win. Well, this isn't true. This isn't reality. I am a walking example. I used to think that I was just not lucky, not much to look at, not attractive enough, not desirable enough, and not blessed enough to have love in my life. After all, I never had a boyfriend until I was 25 years old. And no one ever seriously pursued me up until that point. But everything changed the moment I had change of perspective. When I decided I had to make finding love a priority in my life, it attracted love towards me. My search led me to many different possibilities I had never expected. There were lots of ups and downs and heartbreaks, but it ended with a bang. It led me to find my soulmate. Although there are people who found love through serendipity, their number is small. Most of us found love by seriously searching for it. So don't let the media or the people around you stop you from searching. Another strong reason why we can't leave love to luck is that the social makeup of our environment drastically changes over time. When we are in our teens and early 20s, Everyone in our social group is usually around our age and they're single. Then in our mid to late 20s, more and more people have paired off, increasing job and personal responsibilities, and most people have less and less time to socialize. With friends getting married, having children, and losing interest in the single scene, our social options begin to dry up. And by the time we enter our 30s, our social circles have fewer singles, and our opportunities to organically meet people dwindle even further. As our age increases, our dating environment changes and we struggle to meet new people. This is why the older we get, the more we must give finding love a higher priority. It should go up first in our list. Otherwise, we will have little to no chance to meet good candidates and little to no chance to find love. Love isn't something you leave to chance. If deep down you know that you want love, a life partner, and even a family of your own, it's important that you give yourself the permission to make your search for love a priority. This isn't being desperate. This isn't being lame. This is about chasing your life's goals and the future that you want. So go ahead. Give yourself an okay signal. Give yourself the permission to put finding love atop your list. If you like this video, I invite you to please click like on the button below. And if you like to see more videos like this, I invite you to please subscribe to my channel for more related videos. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.